Hey everybody, what's going on? This is a holster review uh, from the holster store. This is the Pro Carry LT Shirt Tuck uh, for the Taurus 708, 709, 740. I'm sure it'd work well with a Keltec PF9 or Ruger's new LC9 since uh, they all seem to be about the same size pistol. Uh, they're all three slim. You know. <clears throat> They're all kind of like the low 380s. You know, all the low 380s are kind of alike, and this whole line of pistol, uh, they're kind of alike. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> um, like I said, it's in, it's an inside the waistband holster that is tuckable. Okay, you can tuck your shirt in there, <clears throat> which makes it nice. <clears throat> all right. It comes with, uh, you know, it c comes in this bag <clears throat> here. Uh, with this little piece of paper, it tells you how to care for the leather, uh, how to break it in, you know, this and that. Which is pretty cool. So, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, go check out theholsterstore.com. Alright, they this is my second holster from them. Uh, the first one I got is the High Ride Belt Slide Belt Holster. I was wearing it in the winter um, <clears throat> with this pistol. And I love that holster, man. <laughs> and this one, I'd, I love this one too, okay? Uh, second of all, the holster store, they sent this one to me for free because of the review I did on the high ride belt side. And, um, so that's cool, but I'd like to say I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your ass. And uh, I tell you, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and run out and get one, you know, just because they send it to me for free. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, in hopes to get more free holsters because... If I think their shit fucking sucks, I don't want any more. You know, it's like, what's the fucking point? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. Uh, this holster is comfortable as fuck, man. Okay, I, I love this thing. And it, it rides deep in the pants. I can wear it with just a t-shirt. You, you can't even tell I have a pistol on me uh, with the, the way I carry it. Um, it's just awesome. I love this thing. Uh, however, th there are two little tiny things I would change about it and they're just minor little things you know but uh, I think it they it can make this holster uh, a lot better so I guess uh, we'll check this thing out real quick and as as I get into it <clears throat> I'll cut away and I'll uh, show it, uh, this holster on a pair of jeans so you can see how deep it rides and everything alright <clears throat> this thing's great but first of all like I said it's for the 708 709 slim pistols <clears throat> All right. First thing I noticed about this holster was the clip. All right, uh, steel clip. Uh, this thing is springy, man. This thing's tight. Uh, wherever you put this thing, it's staying. Okay, this is an awesome clip. I fucking love this clip, and that's a that's a big deal uh, with the holster. That's one of the first things you should really check out. Uh, the clip uh, is attached to this piece that comes out <clears throat> that you can tuck your shirt in behind. And it's two pieces of leather stitched together, okay? And the bottom piece is attached to the holster itself. <clears throat> Alright. Next, moving on. Uh, the holster itself is rough side out, okay? So, when, you, when it's inside the waistband, when you go to draw or whatnot, or when you're moving around, it grabs your clothing, you know, instead of just sliding around. <clears throat> so, that's, that's real nice. Uh, the inside's uh, smooth, real smooth, if you can see there. Um, which, when you get the pistol in there, it kind of grips it. Um, but, you know, it still draws out real nice. <clears throat> Alright. And also, it has this uh, thick piece of leather stitched around the top. <clears throat> and that is so, I believe this is so... Uh, it's reinforcing for when you draw your pistol, okay, and it's inside the waistband, your pants collapse on it. You can still get your pistol back in there uh, to reholster it without pulling your pants out and all this and that. Okay, so that, that makes it pretty nice too, okay. Um, <clears throat> which is a good deal, from if you ask me. I'm, I'm digging that. <clears throat> Alright, so it's a, this is a great holster. Like I said, it, it rides deep. Uh, you can barely even tell, I mean, you can't even tell you have the pistol on there, <clears throat> okay? Other people can't tell you you have the pistol on there, I should say. Sound like an idiot. 
but it's an awesome holster. Real comfortable. Uh, I've been carrying an appendix carry, I guess you could say, right in between my dick and my thigh. And that, that took a couple days to get used to, but now, after carrying this for a while, uh, that's my preferred method of carry. Uh, you can't tell I have a pistol. It's really comfortable, you know, after you learn how to sit and get up and everything, you know, um, it's comfortable as hell, man. Alright? And I'm just, I'm, I'm digging it. <clears throat> okay, so, great holster. I, I give this thing big props, you know what I mean? Uh, however, there are a couple little things that I would change about it, um, if I made the holster. One of them is the distance between the frame itself and this piece of the holster here, okay, right here. Uh, you you can't get your fingers in there, <laughs> so when you when you go to grab it, you're you're hitting this piece of leather here, you know. So I, I find myself using these two fingers on the very end, okay, to to try and draw the pistol. All right. <clears throat> so so that's one thing. So if this could just be, you know, trimmed back to here, perhaps, you know, it's it's not going to affect the trigger or anything. If you could trim it back so it came came across like that, so that was just sticking out a little bit, you get your fingers on the on the damn pistol, you know, <clears throat> and it's not it's not going to affect the the trigger guard or anything if you just angle it down. And another one <clears throat> is this: how far this piece comes out right here uh, as it wraps around. Um, on the on the back, it's it's pretty nice, but if it could just be trimmed back, maybe at an angle just a little bit, hey, it's okay. My dog's, I don't know, there's something outside. <laughs> this could be trimmed back just a little bit, and uh, even more so on the front, <clears throat> okay? Because when, when you go to grab this pistol to draw it, <clears throat> these two pieces right here, as they stick out, uh, the, the spine of the frame right there, it dips down pretty far right there if you can see okay so so this sticks out further and above it so when you go to grab it the webbing your of your hand is hitting right there alright and also since you can't get your fingers <clears throat> up all the way up there you're you're kinda having to grab it like that and then push down with your thumb which is I mean you can do it okay it's just it's just a, a little goofy um, now if those were cut back and this was cut back your pistol would sit a little something more like this <clears throat> All right. I mean this would be up here of course but then you get the the webbing of your hand on the pistol and you get your fingers in there to draw it you know that would make it a lot more ergonomical to to draw the pistol okay if they changed those two little things I think this thing would be a home run for sure I mean it, it's already a big hit if you ask me uh, but that can make this thing even better. <clears throat> All right. Um, like I said, it does rise deep, and you know that's awesome. So you, of course, it's not going to be the most easy pistol to draw, but it's going to be a hell of a lot faster and easier to draw than an ankle holster. All right. <laughs> so this is an awesome holster. Like I said, I love it. If they could change those two things, it'd be even greater. So I'm gonna cut away now and uh, show you how this looks on the jeans. Alright you guys, here it is on the jeans. Um, I'm just holding the camera with my hand so it might be a little shaky so I'll go ahead and apologize beforehand. But <clears throat> this is this is how I've been carrying it. <clears throat> okay. And look look how deep that rides, you know, barely anything sticking out. <clears throat> uh which you could look at as a good or a bad thing. Some people may may want their holster up a little higher, you know what I mean? Uh so they could draw it easier. Um, but for me, I, I like the, the way this, this sets, um, actually it kicks over a, a little bit like this actually when I'm carrying it. <clears throat> uh, it, it sets like this. I can get my hand, you know, in my pants to, to grab the frame real easy. Uh, like I said, this is where it comes into play that it would be a little easier if that piece was cut down a little more so I get my fingers on it even better. Okay. And... If this piece was cut down even more, so I get the webbing of my hand on there a little better, because I'm I'm already sliding my fingers into my pants a little bit to to get it around the frame of the pistol. All right, so if those were cut down, uh, that's where it would make it a whole lot fucking easier and a whole lot better, if you ask me. 
but um, the way this thing rides so deep, uh, you can't even tell you have the pistol. I can't. I mean, you can't tell I have the pistol on me, uh, which is fucking awesome. Which is great, you know. <clears throat> um, it's my my new favorite holster. I wear this thing uh, all day, every day, uh, whenever I leave the house. You know, I don't I don't leave home without it. <clears throat> so. If they change those two little things, it'd be awesome. But even even with them the way they are, it's still a damn good holster. So if you own uh, one of the Tauruses or the LC9 or anything like that, or the PF9, I guess, um, you know, check this holster out. Check out the high red belt slide too. Uh, those are two holsters I've got from the holster store, and I fucking dig them, man. I, I think they're they're great holsters. So go check them out, holsterstore.com. Um, and that's my honest opinion on it right there. So thanks a lot uh, for watching, everyone. Um, be safe out there. And uh, don't forget to carry your goddamn gun.